Hi, I'm Paul with Madcap Software, continuing our video series on meta tags in Flare. This is video six, and we want to talk about markup. In the previous video, I showed a little bit of it. You saw markup uh, in, in topics uh, for meta tags showing that, but there's a little bit more to talk about because the markup, you'll see that in, in the source files, but also in the output files, but you don't always see the same thing. So we want to take a look at that. So as I was showing in the last video, I had applied the uh, description meta tag. I created one for this Australian Shepherds topic, but not for any of these other topics. And that's why nothing shows here. In the same way, went to go to use meta tags and you see the copyright meta tag, for example. There's only one listed in here that has copyright, even though my intention is to have all my files have the copyright. But I only added it here in my general meta tag set. OK, well, let's see this thing in action uh, by applying uh, meta tags to a couple of files. Uh, because the point is, you're not going to see a meta tag in the source markup unless you explicitly set it. Remember, there's this inheritance going on, which is great, but that really comes into effect for these files in the output. I mean, it'll show up in the UI so you can see what's going on and you could overwrite it, but you're not, it's not actually going to be part of the markup until you generate the output. So let's look at a couple of topics here, this getting started topic. I'm going to right click this, go to properties. And in the meta tags tab, let's set the status for this. Uh, let's say this one's in progress and click OK. And I didn't do it for the history of dogs. It doesn't have anything set. So I open up getting started. And remember, you start out here, XML editor, go over to the text editor, scroll up to the top. There's the head. And there it is. Meta, meta name, status, content in progress. It's coming from the general meta tag set. All right. So it put it in here. And therefore, it's going to show up when I use this, uh, for example, this used meta tags um, report. And I can uh, refresh it and status. There it is. So it shows up in here. But history of dogs, I did not apply that. Uh, you can see the head tag is empty in here. So it doesn't show up. So you want to understand that, but it is going to show up. Uh, certain things will show up. They inherit it in the output. So coming back to the properties, let's go to the property of history of dogs and let's go back here. Now, a lot of these things aren't set. The author and we didn't set the status. We didn't set most of that stuff. We did. We do have hello, it's inheriting it from that meta tag set, and it's inheriting this copyright. But the copyright just, and it's the same for this getting started topic, it's inheriting the same thing, but it's not showing up here in this because I didn't explicitly set it. If I did, it would show up there. But when I build the output, so let's do that. Let's generate the output. And we're going to see that these inherited things are going to show up in the output, as well as uh, you know other other tags you're going going to see within the head tag, other things going on. So we just want to take a quick look at that. All right, the output is finished generating, so we'll open it, drag it over here. Okay, let's expand this thing. And let's go to this getting started topic and let's view the page source. Come up here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in this head tag because of other things that have been done. And you can see there is the copyright, right? And there's that greeting that was inherited. And here's the one we explicitly set. You're also going to get some other things, some other meta tags in here that Flare just added. For example, this viewport, uh, topics really need to have this. That's a thing that's going to help with your mobile layout. But the really nice thing is you don't have to add that. Flare is going to add that for you. It just turns up. If I go to this history of dogs topic and I view the page source, 
same thing. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff in here, and including some meta tags and that viewport. And it's going to get the copyright and it's going to get greeting, but it doesn't have that status in there because I didn't explicitly set it. And there was there was nothing set for it anywhere else. It, it, it didn't really inherit anything. So those are things to keep in mind um, with meta tags when you're talking about the markup in the source and in the output. The output's just, it's going to get anything that's inherited, but if you want to use content management, you need to make sure that you, things are selected or explicitly set in there. Okay, so that does it for this video. We got one more where I'm going to show you some things that that we're doing in, in our project. Uh, so you just have a real life example.